What's up guys? Today I'm gonna to show you what I'm packing for my trip to Vietnam. Yes, this is what I'm gonna be packing right here. I'm gonna show you guys what I'm packing for my trip. I spent about three months in Southeast Asia last year. I'm headed back to Vietnam, going on a motorcycle adventure. Super stoked. Let me show you what I'm taking with me. My Gregory bag, 65 liters. This guy is awesome. It opens from the front, it opens from the top, it opens from the bottom. It has tons of pockets and pouches, support straps. It's lightweight, it's freaking awesome. I took this to the Grand Canyon, Happy Soup Pai, Thailand, Europe. Um, it holds up, it's amazing. This is 65 liters. I suggest at least a 40 liter bag. I never fill this thing up, but it's something you're gonna need. So you're gonna need a day bag. Day bags are great for hikes, waterfalls, great to separate your valuables from your non-valuables, and so on. I'm gonna be bringing four shirts, all merino wool, and a button. All you need for shirts. Boxes and underwear, three. The reason I'm only taking three pairs of underwear is because these are antimicrobial as well, made by Smart Wool. They are freaking awesome. Check it out, merino wool. Uh, not only do I have boxers, I also have socks, and I'm taking three pairs of socks plus the pair I'll be wearing. These are all merino wool as well. They can be washed in the sink. They can be worn multiple times without getting super gross, uh, which is nice. All right, as far as shorts go, I am taking three pairs of shorts and two pairs of board shorts, or should I say swim trunks. Last time I took clothing out there, I took a pair of pants, a pair of sweats. I never once wore the jeans. I was too hot. I was there for two months in Thailand. Uh, didn't wear the jeans one time at all. I actually ended up giving them away. It's hot out there, so make sure you pack cool clothing. I'm going to bring a pair of jean shorts because they are a little bit more rugged. They got some good pockets on there as well. All my shorts actually have zip pockets, so it's good so that I don't lose anything when I'm walking around or anything like that. So five pairs of shorts. As far as pants go, I'm only bringing one pair of pants, or these are kind of like sweatpants, loose pants, they got zipper pockets, they're very light. Um, I wore those last time, they're absolutely great. And then also I have a pair of light pants on uh, for while I'm traveling, so on the plane and whatnot. It is always good to have a pair of pants, even though it is hot, in case you're going trekking or it gets cold, or also for when you're getting on those buses and those planes, it does get quite cold. Next up, Jacket. I have one jacket. This is a nice puff jacket. I took three jackets, a rain jacket, my puff jacket, a windbreaker, and a sweater last time I was there. And I didn't wear my rain jacket once, I didn't wear my windbreaker once, and I only wore this one time. I'm just bringing this guy because I will be riding motorcycles and stuff like that, so I know this will be good to keep me uh, warm. And it's also very light and it compacts very nicely. If it starts raining, you can buy a $3 poncho and you'll be good. Another little thing I forgot is my buff. These Merino buffs are freaking awesome. They're great when you're, like I said, on planes, buses, keep you warm. You're a little cold, keeps you warm here. You're going on a motorcycle ride, okay. Wrap it around your face right there. You wanna like, cover up your hair because it's messy. Sure, cover up your hair, boom, done. You got a little head scarf. However you want, these things are freaking awesome. You want a little headband, go play some basketball, keep the sweat out of your eyes, boom. Whatever you need, this thing is freaking awesome. Toiletry bag, gotta have a toiletry bag. This guy's good, keeps all your toothpaste, your toothbrush, all your hygienic stuff. Keep my fingernail clippers in here, tweezers, ibuprofen, neosporin, DEET wipes, and so forth. Benadryl, all my good stuff I keep in the toiletry bag. Uh, nice and compact, wrap it up, good to go. Next up, boom, microfiber towel. This guy is a necessity. Do not bring a regular towel, but definitely get one of these. Not all hostels will have towels for you, so it's always good to have your own. Also, it's good if you go to a waterfall or some you know, beach and whatnot, you got your own towel, it's light, it's easy, good to go. Uh, moving on, you're gonna need a pair of shoes. So I would say these would be my more trekking shoes or you have running shoes and I'll also be wearing a pair of flats or, you know, kind of slip-ons 
as uh, day shoes. I suggest having at least a pair of shoes and a pair of sandals. Uh, some people wear sandals all the time. Some people don't wear sandals too much. Uh, there's gonna be beaches, so it's always good to have. Also, you don't wanna walk into the bathrooms and the hostels and certain areas barefoot. You're gonna wanna have sandals, you know, so you don't get that foot fungus or whatever else could possibly be on those grounds. So sandals are always good. Back for your shoes. Keep them away from everything else. Two important things, you're gonna want a pair of sunglasses and a cap or beanie. These are great, keep the sun out of your eyes, keep the sun off your face. It's nice if your head gets cold or you got messy hair and you just want to see it. These two things are definitely a necessity. I think I picked these up in Thailand for 10 bucks. They're polarized and they're freaking awesome. Cap, glasses, don't forget them. More gear, face gear, earbuds, eye mask. Such a necessity for airplane rides and loud hostels. Darkness helps you sleep, silence helps you sleep. These guys are so clutch. Invest in a pair, they're definitely great for when you don't wanna hear everyone else. It's always good to have a little first aid kit, keep some you know, bandages, all that good stuff in there. You never know when someone's gonna get hurt, or scrape their knee, or scrape their foot on some reef, or you know, cut their hand on a tuk-tuk. Whatever the case may be, it's always good to have this. Even if it's not for you, uh, you could always help somebody else. You know, I keep some Neosporin, antibacterial creams, and whatnot in here. Uh, it definitely can come in handy. Next up, obviously, passport, IDs, cards, international driving permit. Did not have this last time, this guy's clutch. You definitely need one of these so you're not getting pulled over and getting fined for not having proper driving permits for the countries that you're in. Also, very important, or I think it's important, is have your vaccination card. And these two things, where do I keep them in? And other valuables? My bag. I keep this guy on my waist. I keep my passport in here, I keep money in here, I keep my hostel hotel key in here. This guy stays on my waist. It's underneath my shorts or my clothes all the time. I kind of just keep my passport when I'm traveling. Got my money, got my wallet, whatever I need for the day. Keeps it discreet. Very clutch and I love it. Uh, check one out, man. Wireless earphones or headbuds. Definitely a necessity. Way better than having wires coming out of your phone when you're moving around, you got bags on you. It's just a hassle. I also prefer these little skull candy headphones that rest on your neck. They're light. Uh, they're not all big and bulky like the big ones I've had, like the Sony ones or the Bose, which are great for great sound. These guys are great for sound. They're light. I even forget them. I have them on my neck. I'm definitely invest in a pair of wireless headphones. GoPro and gear. I keep all my GoPro wires, SIM cards, chargers, batteries, all those things from my GoPro and other little electronics. I keep in this nice little bag. Keeps it organized. It's got some compartments in there. Let's see what we got. Yeah, it's got some compartments in here. Keep everything organized, different slots, wires, cords, all the good stuff. Dun, dun, dun. Just got this bad boy. So stoked. This is, whoa. This is my brand new Mavic Mini. And I am so stoked to fly this bad boy get some good footage, get some good sunrises, get some good sunsets. Yes, Mavic Mini, little drone. Laptop, MacBook, power cord, all that good stuff. Need this for editing, otherwise I would not take a computer. But I cannot edit footage without having one of these guys, so it's a necessity for my trip. Hard drive to store, store extra footage and clips and Definitely need one of these. These are a converter uh, for your outlets. Universal converter. Uh, this guy comes in handy. Necessities. And for all those electronics, you gotta have a dry bag. You put all your valuables, electronics, all that good stuff in here. Roll it up. Boom, clip it. Everything in here is gonna stay dry and protected. 
So this is gonna be good for when I'm at waterfalls or we're going on boat trips and I have to take my drone or other electronics that I do not want to get wet. It's always good to have one of these guys. It'll definitely come in handy. Check it out. Well, with all these clothing, it's always good to have packing cubes. It keeps everything organized, but these are awesome. They actually expand, so they can be small or they can uh, expand into a bigger bag, which is nice. So it just doubles the size like that, boom. So that's why I only use two bags. And one other electronic that I am missing that I wasn't able to find is a battery pack. It's very important to have a battery pack. It's so nice to not run out of juice or battery when you're using your phone or your equipment. I've used it to charge my GoPro, my iPhone. I'm also gonna be able to use it to charge these, my drones, uh, whatever else I might need, but it always comes in handy, man. <laughs> you versus you. Just go for it. We only live once. <laughs>